Hello everybody. I hope all of y'all are having a good day today. Um, today's video is just kind of a carryover from yesterday's video. Just kind of like part two, I guess. And uh, there's going to be a part three coming after this as well. Um, yesterday I was talking about religions, all right? And, and how most people, most professing Christians today are anti-Christ. Christ means anointing. It also means the Messiah, okay? But they're anti-Christ, meaning they're against the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You see, in order to have the Holy Spirit, that means you have to give up your life, all right? If Christ is going to rise up within you, there's a death, and you have to set yourself to the side. And, and the people that hate that, they call that Lord, Lordship Salvation, and that's wrong. Yesterday's video, I worked on that for almost 15 minutes, poured out my testimony of truth and power of Christ's strength in you to do amazing things. And I got a comment from one guy that says, it's the belief in the finished work on the cross in Christ alone. That's the only thing that matters. Lordship salvation is wrong. <laughs> How's that? And I'm like, you wouldn't know anything about it if it weren't for the holy book that they give you. You're under that spell. You know, and it's like Lordship salvation. It's like, Lord forbid, I have to give up my life. I just want to believe so I don't go to hell when I die. So, they are anti-anointing, anti-Christ. The reason that, that we have religions in the world today, when I say religions, I'm talking false religions, okay? I'm not talking a spiritual journey, a spiritual walk with the Creator. Reasons we have religions today is the one thing, the root of all evil, and that is the love of money all right money and power all right with religion and priest you know in their robes and looking like they know what they're talking about you can keep the common man down and if you have a holy book and you explain to them because you're not a learned person okay and you explain to them what their holy book says and you can control people with that holy book I don't know if you guys ever saw that movie, The Book of Eli, you know, and in that movie, there is a bad guy. It was like the, the apocalypse had happened, and this guy was looking for a copy of the Bible because he knew that if he had a copy of the Bible, he could control people, and he could make lots and lots of money. That was the whole plot of the story, trying to get the Bible. Christianity today, the business of Christianity today is a multi-billion dollar business, all right? And if Christianity today, if religions of the world today collapsed, stock markets would collapse, countries would collapse, the world would go into chaos. The, 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 the money systems would go into chaos. They, the, 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 it has so much power and control in this world. And they protect that with everything in the world they can. That's the whole reason that they killed Jesus. That's the whole reason they hung him on the cross is because he was exposing them, all right? You see people who are anointed with the Holy Spirit who Christ is Lord and Savior in their lives, you can't control them with religion. Their eyes are opened, okay? And they see the truth, they see the lies. The, one of the big religions at the time was Dagon. If you remember, Samson pushed the two pillars of the temple of Dagon and destroyed it, and Dagon was the fish god. And you always seen him holding the pine cone. And you see the Catholic Church holding the pine cone too, all right? They have it on their staff. Represents the pineal gland, all right? And, and it, it, what it's showing is like there's like teasing people, like, look, we know the knowledge of the truth. We know it all comes from the throne of God, and the throne of God is right there. They are the establishment of the eye because they have the keys. They know the truth but they hide it in plain sight so nobody can see it for themselves. Look at that, that word Dagon, and just add an R, it's Dragon, all right? And then look at, at the name Yeshua, 
all right? And, and each letter in the name of Yeshua has a meaning, all right? And so when you take the meanings of each of those letters, it means the hand that destroys the establishment of the eye, all right? See, if, if God is ruling and reigning within you, then you become the right hand of God, wielding his double-edged sword, all right? And you can destroy that establishment. That's why they work so hard to shut us down. Judaism, those who were practicing the law of Moses, not God's law, okay? That was anti-Christ, all right? Because it relied on the works of their hands, feast, Sabbaths, what you ate, what you touched, and things like that. It relied on your hands, your strength, instead of Christ's strength within you to rule and reign and to work. And they were very much against that. And if you look, they, 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 they hung Jesus on the cross, three nails, all right? And, and, and the, the nail is uh, the number six in Hebrew. They had three nails, six, six, six. The Antichrist hung him on the cross and sacrificed him. You see those monster energy drinks, you know, with the M, but it's not really an M. It's the number six in Hebrew, you know, it's, and it's on the can it says, release the beast. They released Barakas, you know, the murderer, and killed the Messiah, the anointed one. This is why they, they killed all of the prophets, you know, because it's about money. You remember, <clears throat> there was Samuel. And the people were murmuring to Samuel, and they were saying, Hey, we want a king to rule over us. We don't want the Holy Spirit to rule over us anymore. We want a king, all right? Samuel goes to God, you know, in prayer and meditation, and God tells him, you know, Hey, he said, It's not you that they reject, it's me, all right? They're stiff-necked. They've always been that way and reject the Holy Spirit. But he said, You go tell them. Said, said, If you have a king... This is what the king will do to you, not me, all right? He said that king will take 10% of everything you have, and he will give it to his friends and family, all right? And see, if you're the king, then you can appoint your Levitical priesthood, all right? You can put your friends and family in positions of authority in the temple, all right? And so they made a money-making machine, all right? Samuel told them, said, this is what he'll do. And they said, we want a king. And God said, okay, give him a king, all right? Then look at Jeremiah. Jeremiah 8.8, 8, the lying pen of the scribes. He says, you think you're wise because you have the law of the Lord, the Torah, all right? That was their God, the Torah. He said, you think you're wise because you have that, but the lying pen of the scribes has written lies, all right? So now you can go all through the Old Testament, and it's, it's, this is like they're saying, God says this, you're not giving me my 10% tithes, I'm angry with you, and stuff like that, okay? And so they, they martyred, they martyred Jeremiah, they stoned him, supposedly it's what they say, as he was stoned to death. And then look at Isaiah. Isaiah says, you know, I, I, God says to him, I hate your new moons and your feasts, you know, and your Sabbaths and all this stuff. So this is yours, not mine, all right? Because, see, they had become a, they, they had started adopting other practices and rituals from other gods, all right? And, and it started practicing those things in their religion. And that's why God said through Isaiah, I hate your stuff. All right? And they martyred Isaiah. They say that he was cut in half. All right, and I'm going to start to close out on here, and, and I'll do another video tomorrow, Lord willing. But this is where we end with Judaism, okay? Like I said, Judaism was the Antichrist. And Jesus was telling them, he says, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees. You know, you know the way into the kingdom of heaven. You won't enter in, and you won't allow anybody else to enter in that wants to enter in. And then he tells them, you know, you, you go out, you'll travel a thousand miles to get a convert, because you got to get converts. The more converts you get, the more money. He said, you'll travel a thousand miles, and you'll make them twice as much a person of hell as you are.
You know, it's like you're doing absolutely nothing for them. All right? This is why they killed Jesus, because he was exposing them. All right? When Jesus died on the cross and in 70 AD, whenever the Roman Empire come in and completely destroyed the temple, not one single stone was left unturned. When that happened, the Antichrist received its deadly head wound. And I'm going to pick up tomorrow with the Antichrist coming back to life. And I'll get into that 1948 in the establishment of the World Council of Churches and the establishment of the State of Israel and what it means for us today and the new world religion that's coming. I love you all. God bless.